Welcome back, it's Racer X, and today I wanna to do a quick follow-up video on what is going on with my Demon 170. This is my rental Wagoneer. I'm gonna hop in this monster and head on down to the dealership and hopefully we can get some answers. For those of you guys that don't follow my channel, you may be unaware, I took my Demon out to Bradenton Motorsports Park for a private event. And during that private event, I was out there trying to make some passes, getting ready to race a really, really fast street car. And unfortunately, my Demon started acting really, really weird. I was having all sorts of problems with the car. Well, the car has now been at the dealership for two week so i'll play you a quick uh, recap about what happened at the track and we will head on down to the dealer and see what's really going on with the car we're going to work on the trans brake tonight just try and get better and better this is a nice smooth easy curve at 1600 rpm we'll see how the car does with this I moved it all the way down to trans brake C. That was like a 985 at, I don't know, 141 and some change. Well, that pass was a little bit weird because it was slower than the previous pass, even though I turned the trans brake up slightly and the car dead hooked. Talking to guys up front, they all said that the car seemed to bog down. Like when it took off, it just bogged down. It dead hooked, but it bogged. And I'm not really sure why that is. reason the car just completely bogged off the line so I'm kind of wondering if something's goofy it seems really weird I don't know if something's not happy with the transmission all right guys we're gonna do this one on a foot brake let's see what happens I'm looking over my last time slip guys in Something is definitely really off with my car right now. Uh, one uh, 4260 foot, which really isn't too bad, everything considered with the DA and everything, but the car never went into torque reserve, and I had like 2,000 RPM in it right before it pushed through the brakes, and this car should go into torque reserve at like 1,400 RPM. It always has. There's something not happy with the car. You saw the two previous passes where all the car did was just bog down on the trans brake and it never launched. It just kind of bogged down under no power. And that pass 1006 at 134 mile an hour, it's down at least 10 mile an hour. Before we get too far into today's video, I just wanna make mention of something really quick because my partners over at Dream Giveaway just completed their Super B giveaway, truly epic giveaway. However, they just came out with something new and it is awesome. It is their Plum Crazy Challenger giveaway where once again, they're giving out two cars for one entry fee. And uh, these two cars are really beautiful. Both of them plum crazy, a 1970 Challenger um, that is basically mint condition with a 440, a very rare car. And they're giving away a 2023 plum crazy super stock uh, Challenger. And of course we know for you drag racers out there, that is the ultimate Hellcat trim. And both of these can be had with $67,000 in addition for the taxes for one entry fee. And right now, if you use my code RACERX, like I said, this is brand new. They just announced this. Go enter to win this. I'm gonna go enter to win it. I've entered on every one of these contests that I've told you guys about. But if you use my code, I'll pin it in the link below. They will give you twice the number of entries for the same price. So go out there, try to win these challengers. I can't wait to see who wins. And once again, if one of my subscribers wins the, uh, the challenger sweepstakes, I will do a dedicated video with you and your brand new car. I'm super excited about this. Go try to win. I have finally reached the dealership. Now I need to go and figure out where the demon is and also talk to the lead tech. They have their absolute best guy working on my car. Hopefully get an update, find out what codes that they're finding, all sorts of stuff. So let's go see what we can find. Well, I found my demon. They've got it back here nice and safe. They've got it up on the lift. I actually just got done looking around the car and the car looks absolutely fine. It's not like I see any leaks or anything under it. Nothing that's glaring to me. You don't get to see a Demon 170 from this angle too often. Man, this thing looks really clean from the underside. But man, I have got to figure out what in the world is going on with this car. So I'm gonna see if we can go find uh, Billy. He is the tech that's working on this. He's kind of their master tech here at, uh, at Courtesy in, um, in Tampa. And hopefully 
he can give us a little bit more information on exactly what's going on with the demon. So I came in and found a little corner table here in the dealership. It's actually really loud out there in the shop, but I have the report on my car right here. The technician gave it to me. We talked extensively about kind of what's going on with the car and where we are with things. Um, they have opened up a star case with Mopar. Basically, they have escalated this to the highest. It will go to engineering and they are taking a look at the issue. And it is a little bit perplexing when I look at the codes that they actually pulled off of the car. Now, when I was driving it over to the dealership, the check engine light came on and said um, something about oil, but I checked the engine oil religiously in this car before I race. And even before I brought the car in and the technician checked it, the oil level is full. It's actually perfect. Um, so the car is not losing any oil. So that really is a little perplexing when you look at what's going on with these codes. The very first code here is a P1524 code. Um, oil pressure out of range, camshaft advanced retard disabled. Um, there in itself, that's a little bit perplexing with the Demon 170. Now keep in mind, uh, these don't have dry sump um, oil pumps. So the oil system on this is not a dry sump. It probably should be for being a race car, but that's not the way this thing was engineered. So that is a little bit of a weird deal. Also P00B, uh, bank one camshaft two position slow response. Um, apparently those two codes basically go hand in hand. When you get the first code, oftentimes you will get the second code. And then even the third code here, P032F, combustion engine producing insufficient torque. Basically the car was going into limp mode because it felt like something was wrong with the oil pump or the oil system to some degree. So all three of those codes kind of came together. That may explain why the car was basically coming out bogging so bad. Um, it doesn't really explain why the car's trans brake wasn't holding. I don't know if everything just kind of went haywire in the system or what. Um, because the car wouldn't go into torque reserve. It may all be related to kind of this oil thing that's happening and maybe the car got, just got all funky and said, I'm gonna cut all this power. I'm not gonna let the race modes work. I'm just, I, I need to be looked at right away. Um, so that may explain why the car was running so slow at the track, even on the last pass, I think 10.08 at 133, just on the foot brake, not even using the trans brake, just trying to see if the car was unhappy in terms of the transmission. I don't know, I was just trying to figure some things out, but after that many runs, I realized the car was not happy so obviously I brought it into the dealership but multiple other codes that are stored here but almost all of them have to do with kind of like I had the seats out of the car um, just random things put the seats back in plug it back in those won't be there but those three codes are the big ones uh, that the car is throwing I am now back in the Wagoneer and I just kind of want to sum up my thoughts on this because I am really perplexed with this. I know that this dealership is doing everything that they possibly can. As a matter of fact, on the very first day, they had the case submitted, all the documentation, the codes, everything that needed to go in to get a star case created, which they've done. And now they're just waiting on the Dodge engineering team um, to get back to them and about what to do. And I'm sort of wondering if this isn't a design flaw with the car. I realize my car uh, is probably the first one out there, at least that I've heard of, that's having this oil issue. And we know it doesn't have a dry sump system. So is this a design flaw from Dodge? Is this one of those things that, oh, the code clears, I go back out to the track, and then it goes into limp mode again for the exact same reason? Um, is it the oil pump? I, I really don't know what's going on with the car, but it would be nice if the Dodge engineering team would get back to the dealership and maybe at least give them a little bit of information. Hey, we're working on this. Um, instead, it's like going into a black hole, which is, it's really, frustrating because here I have a car that I'm paying. Well, I don't even want to tell you guys what I'm paying for the car. It's not a cheap car. I can't make any content with it. I can't take it out to the track. I can't do anything with it. And uh, I don't know. I mean, if, if it's not getting oil, does that mean that something inside the engine may seize or is there scoring happening inside the engine that may cause uh, damage kind of down the road? In which case, do I need a new transmission? Do I need a new engine? Um, or is it something really simple like, hey, you know, he just needs to put a little bit more oil in it. We already know the oil was in the car. It was, it was full, no issues there. Um, but certainly I don't want a repeat of what happened before with this car. So let's hope that Dodge Engineering will actually, you know, call these guys back, let them know, hey, you know, here's what we need to do. We need to check the gap in the plugs because I've heard all sorts of other Demon 170s out there having issues, right? I've heard about the plug gap issue. Um, there was another car here that actually had, um, I think the diff was leaking. Um, there have been a litany of issues that are out there on the forums. You guys can go look at them, but the Demon 170s seem to be having quite a few issues. But as far as I know, my car is the only one 
with this issue. So let's hope engineering has a good solve for this that doesn't require me getting a new engine, a new transmission or something crazy invasive because if that's the case, the car will be down for months and you guys won't see me drag racing uh, for a while. Like I said, I had a bunch of big races I was trying to kind of get lined up here for the near future. I was practicing with the car. Things were getting a little better. Yes, the DA is getting worse. It is what it is. But um, you know, at least if the car is hooking and doing its thing, I'll stand a much better chance. But for right now, car is down. That's all the updates I have for you guys right now. This is the second update I've had for you guys. Obviously, the first one was with the car. This is the second one. So stay tuned for another update. There will be a part three, hopefully, once the engineering team gets back to, uh, to the dealership to find out what they need to do to get the car right. The last thing I want is to get the car back and have it not be right and then just be this repetitive cycle of go out, car's not right, back to the dealer for months. Go out, car's not right, back to the dealer that I'm out on that. So let's hope we get it uh, we get it going here pretty darn quick. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Just thought I would kind of give you an update and I'll catch you on the next one. So until then, Racer X.